Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we continued on the Brotherhood of Steel questline, and in the process, we found this satellite array. It's actually a place that we've walked by before, um, but whenever we had, there was a lot of fighting, and I was like, ah, eh, screw that, we'll come back later. Well, now we finally got here, and we found the scribe's body, along with the, uh, what do they call it, the little beeper thing that was going off? That thing. We found that thing as well. Um, the next part of that quest, which is the Lost Patrol, notable just because I think it's the longest we've put a quest off in our Let's Play. Like, the Lost Patrol was something that we got really early on, and we decided, ah, eh, we'll come back later <laughs> and do the Brotherhood of Steel stuff later. So we're finally getting around to it, and the next part of this quest is to investigate the bunker. Three years ago, the last Brotherhood recon teams uh, sent to the Commonwealth went missing. Paladin Dance asked me to search for their remains. So we've been finding a few, and some of this was done, you know, a year ago. I can actually say that, a year ago. We're going to do show on map, and uh, we can see that the recon bunker Theta is up there on the northern part of the map. We are actually way down here. So the closest we could probably get is Lynn Woods, but it looks to me like there might be something in this area that's gone unexplored. So, I'm going to take us to Old Gullet Sinkhole, and then walk north. Although, to be honest, I'm kind of worried that this would put us in the sinkhole, so why don't we go to Greentop Nursery instead? Oh god, I just got here and apparently there's... ...problems. Who is it? The gunner? Legendary gunner. Oh cool, something, some, some sort of legendary to, uh, to get. Hi, friend. And you're done. Oh, you mutated, that's cool. Critical. Boom! One more shot, Grit. Done. Your head disintegrated right in front of you. Alright, do you have anything useful for me? Poisoner's operator's left arm. Apparently... <laughs> I was gonna say, apparently it's an invisible item. Fusion cell, sugar bombs... Do, 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 nothing here. Am I over-encumbered? I am over-encumbered, son of a gun. Dance, can you, um... Can you take care of this? When you're not completely falling flat on your face? Gunner. Oh my, it's a level eight! Another head exploded. That seems to happen when people are around me. Gunner conscript, gotcha! Done. See, that head didn't explode, it just came off. Must have shot a little low and hit the neck. There's something still, oh, there's still people around here. Uh, gunner conscript. Doggone, I can't go anywhere, can I? <laughs> what, it sounded like he did a little death gurgle there. Are we set? Apparently I was supposed to help defend pe- Uh, dance. Hey, awaiting your command. Can you hold this crap so I don't have to go- I don't- I'm assuming that dance can hold a pretty good amount of stuff because he's in power armor. You gotta hold all these rib cages. You'll- you'll learn more later. Um, I just- I don't wanna have to go all the way back to sanctuary. Like, can you hold on to this- this thing? And we probably have some other weapons that are, you know, heavy. Take this. Uh, violent assault rifle, you can hold on to that. There we go. Now I don't have to go all the way back to Sanctuary, which is nice. Does anyone here want to give me praise? You, sir. You want to praise me? Just wanted to trade a few things. Of course. No, that's actually not what I want. I Give me this and this, they're mine. I just wanted to, you know, get some, some, some you know, good job, Grit. You saved our butts, Grit. Thank God you're here, Grit. Let us erect a huge monument in your honor, Grit. But no, I never, never seem to get that. Alright, so if we head north, we're gonna get to this place, which is good. This, uh, this particular gun only has 82 bullets. Um... Hmm... Might use Nuclear Nancy for a bit, or... I might stick with the Stork. Uh, there was actually some comments in the last episode saying, uh, <laughs> I should... I should, uh, nickname, should change the name of the stork to the accountant because I am the critical banker now. Um, and I, I actually, I actually like that. It's weird changing the name of a gun that we've already had for so long, I, I'll admit. Um, but I, I, I like that idea. My goodness, there's a lot of you. I'm gonna get, let you guys get a little closer. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Let me get a few in here. You in there. Let's do it! Boom! Boom! Ow! 
You don't see the bugs very often. I think the bugs are some of the, the least common enemies that we find. This guy is serious, isn't he? Look at this. Where is it that you take the most damage? Your legs? Your head? Alright, your head. Let's go for the head then. Because if I'm going to build up my crit, I'd rather, while I'm doing it, you know, possibly kill you. The torso in this one is pretty strong. Apparently the legs do a lot. Oh, that was funny. His little head fell off. His little head fell off and then he just kind of collapsed, almost uh, Wily e. Coyote style. Doggone it. I, I really don't have time for this anymore. Thanks. I got my crit all the way up. That's all I wanted. I wanted to get my crit up. I got my crit up. I'm ready for you guys to leave me alone. And they're still coming. You need bug spray. You, you'll figure it out. You got it under control. All right, so I'm going to wander north. Um, but the difference uh, from wandering north and, uh, you know, what I what I normally... How'd that happen? Is he floating? David Blaine! I ruined his routine. Are they coming up here? Oh, they are. Oh, they wanted to get on the bus with me. Well, that's cute. Boom! Take you out with my, my crappy gun. The other one up here? He's got it. Uh, the, the difference this time around is that I'm going to be, um... You know, if I see something, like, out in the distance, I'm gonna go kind of discover it. Uh, so I can continue to mark things. Did you take Dance down? Dance couldn't handle a bug? I mean, admittedly, that's a level 69 bug. I mean, that is a big guy. It's just not giving me, uh, a whole lot of problems. Head detaches! Alright, Dance, get up. Dance? Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. You're fine. There's a factory over here that looks like it's pretty close. Um, oh, also... Um... I didn't know this it, but a commenter noticed it. Apparently, when we were on the Pridwin near, uh, Naraya and all the sciencey stuff... There's a section where they're looking at plants. And they have one little thing there that's like, experimental plants. And, uh, apparently... This is gonna hurt them a lot more, it's gonna hurt me. Boom! Got them both. Uh, apparently, one of the experimental plants is actually Nernroot from the Elder Scrolls series, and uh, it's in the it's in the last episode. If you want to go back to that episode and and go around that part, uh, maybe one of the fellow commenters can give a timestamp for it. But uh, apparently, there's Nernroot there. If if we get back to the Pridwin soon and I remember this episode, then I'll try and show it off. Um, but that's really cool. It also it's also a little weird because that means that. <laughs> It's very likely that Skyrim and Fallout happened in the same universe. I mean, it, it's just, I know it, it's one of those things like it's obviously just supposed to be a little Easter egg, but at the same time, there's going to be people that you know formulate entire theories around that, and um, it's kind of cool, honestly, to think about the idea that you know Skyrim was long, long ago, or maybe long like far off in the future. I don't know. This is not a separate map. This is a terrible gun to use indoors. Um, Henrietta's not really a lot better, but whatever. There's some rads in here. Don't see anything of, of note. Office desk fan. I am going to have to drop off some of the... Uh, some of our extra stuff soon. Is there anything in here? Besides a ridiculous amount of radiation? Some ammo. Oh my god, this is a place of death. Um, I think it would probably be in our best interest if we're going to explore here for just a second to use, uh... Rad-X. At least we can limit the amount of rads that we are going to take while we walk around in here. I thought I saw something move over there. But maybe I... Maybe I'm losing my mind. It's kind of weird to go into any location in Fallout and not run into enemies of some sort, though. Right? But there... God, there may not be anyone here. Which would be... Strange. But, I mean, I, feasible, I suppose. I mean, it's it's possible. You can go... You can have a location without enemies. It's just something we don't... See every day. Bust? Um... Likeness 2... Uh... Boss, then. There we go. Password accepted. After 34 days of being accident-free, Lester tripped behind the forklift while it was backing up. Now we're back to zero. Also, corporate made us put up all the Remember Your Hard Hat posters. 
I can get behind those. Like, that would have saved his life. Uh, the company retreat is coming up in a couple of weeks. Mr. Feld said it's mandatory for all employees, especially supervisors. I hate going to those things. It's bad enough having to deal with these people during the week. Now I have to pretend I like them for a whole weekend? Sometimes I envy Lester. A hazardous material inspector stopped in today unannounced to check out our operation. I started to feel like he was getting suspicious of what has actually been going on around here. I told Mr. Feld, and he said if the inspector started catching on, we needed to get rid of him, and he didn't mean ask him to go away. Well, he caught on, so we had to get rid of him. If anyone finds out what we did, they'll put me away for life. Whoa! Alright, let's uh, open this thing up. Nice work. I've seen scribes take longer than that to hack a terminal. So what door did we open? Let's see what we found. There's a door somewhere that we opened. My guess, is it the one right below us? Is that? Yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, you know, they killed this guy. Well, if they killed him, he's not gonna come back to life. That's not how that works. In this game, if you, if you kill... If something's dead, it doesn't come back as a ghoul. It has to be still alive when it died, right? My god. This is all creepy. I'm taking a lot of reds, even with Red X. Alright, I got the fusion core. This is just a hole in the wall. Oh my... There you are! Huh. I mean, I expected that we would probably find some sort of enemy here. I just... Didn't really expect it to be a ghoul. Like, in my, in my opinion... Oh lord. Can you go down in there? No, thankfully not. Uh... Da -da 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 taking a lot of rads. God, if I didn't have Rad X, walking just near near there would have probably instantly killed me. And that is uh, honestly a little crazy to think about. But I think that was the sole purpose of this uh, this area was to find that, and I found it, so I feel good. The toilet. Toilet also has a lot of rads. Dance, what do you think, man? I think we should get out of here. There's not really anything else here. This was an interest. Oh. Oh, hi. Where the crap did you come from? I don't got time to mess with this. Get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Um, alright. Well, before he gets here, I'm going to, uh, quickly use... Right away, and stim pack. Oh, it's a legendary. Is he coming after me or is he after you, buddy? You, you got him. You're not really doing that good of a job. Here, let me try. That's the way it's done, Dance. One day I'll teach you all about fighting. You seem to seem like you could use some help. Oh, what the crap? I can't check this guy now. You put my weapon away. Does that help? No. Um... Well, that's weird. There's some bugs in there. Rad Roach. Let's give that one a shot, and that one a shot. One for you. <laughs> yeah, it turned hostile after it had been killed. Let me know how that works out. Can I- can I get this guy now? This guy was a legendary, and I can't... check him for some reason. Some rads in here, but... Oh god, it's a little baby Rad Roach! Good night! So cute, Rad X just wore off. Which is concerning. But there doesn't seem to be anything else in here. What the crap, game? You have something! You have something and it belongs to me, darn it! The- the concern here... ...is not that I can't get this, it's that maybe... ...um... You know, I, like opening up menus and stuff maybe broke temporarily for everything. No, works for there. Maybe that'll like re-trigger it. No. Really? This guy had something, and I want it. Give it to me. I want. I can't get. I know you have an item. You have an item, and it's a good item. It's a legendary item. You have special equipment. Ugh, useless. Alright, well. I don't know what that guy had, but we're, uh, we're not getting it. 
We're done here. Burn it down. Did that work? It was supposed it was supposed to dramatically burn everything up. All right, let me let me come back up here on the catwalk here. We're grilling tonight. Beautiful. Okay, so that was a fun little pit stop. I learned a lot. It was like a field trip. So now that uh, now that the radiation is is gone, I have plenty of Rataway and uh, and Stimpak, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use another one. There we go. I'm back up to full health, and uh, so I don't have to do all of that again. I will quick save. And the quick saves and other saves, I'm hoping, will go a little faster. I cleared out my um, what do you call it? Not not inventory save files. Um, because I, I had a ton of them in there, and I do that from time to time, so you shouldn't be alarmed. I did that in Skyrim as well, um, because I found that it helped load times. Um, if it didn't have to, I guess, access, you know, 400 other saves and look at them. There's something way off in the distance there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but once again, we're out this way, so my plan is to, um is to kind of wander around just a little bit, pick up some locations that we've never seen before. There's a f someone's flying a flag here. Oh, good. Freaking... Freaking great. Get up, get up close, boys. Let's do this thing. Uh, where's your head? Two shots, should take care of that. Here's a legendary, hopefully I'll be able to actually check your stuff. Um, I'm gonna give that one a crit whenever I get that far, but I'm not that far yet. Blood bug hatchling. Oh, I'm out of AP. Well, son of a gun. Good night, feller. Boom. Oh, it mutated. What a surprise. Let me switch over to the stork. And... Owie. Uh, Dance, I see that you're you're helping, and I appreciate it. But I, uh, I don't need help. Building up a crit. Whenever... <laughs> building up my crit whenever I- actually this guy's doing a fair amount of damage to me. I'm dying. I'm dying and I need to be careful because if I don't, then I'll- I'm actually going to die. Critical! Was not a very good hit! Oh my god. Jesus. I, uh, am usually not very scared. Of bugs, this is one instance where uh, I should probably be scared. Do I have enough AP to launch this thing? Not quite. Ow! Now do I? The answer is not quite. God! Keep shooting, dance, dance! All right, let's do this thing. Oh, I don't have enough for. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had another cr uh, another critical. Well, that was, um, that was something. Good work. Oh, I'm still dying. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. Was it just being around the bug? I think after I killed it, it was emitting some sort of crazy stuff. It's, it's hard to remember sometimes. Like, I don't take things seriously, but I'm almost level 70. Even the bugs can kill me. I, I, I can't, I can't turn my back for a minute. All right, let's see what we got here. A radio tower of some sort. Okay, let's hit this button. Tower status inactive. Extend satellites to amplify signals in surrounding area. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Did I do good? I think I did good. Green Briar radio signal found. Automated radio alarm. Nautical radio signal found. My God. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's investigate a little bit. Uh, let's go over to the radio and see what what these are. Let's see. Automated radio. What is automated radio? Can kind of hear it. direction is it? No, that's- now it's lost. It's gotta be this to- this way? I'm starting to hear it. Reactor three in 
sublevel is malfunctioning. Radiation levels critical. Immediate service is required. Reactor 3 in sublevel is malfunctioning. Radiation levels critical. Immediate service is required. Is that is that it? Reactor 3 in sublevel is malfunctioning. Radiation levels critical. Well, unfortunately, I don't know what that means. Um, that doesn't really help me. Let's try this Greenbrier. Which direction did they want us to go for Greenbrier? That's lost, so it can't be that way. Let's try this direction. Is this right? seconds. Hmm. Okay, um... Please. That Anyone could be the bunker that we're already us. going to, which is interesting. Let's also try, um, the nautical radio. Mayday. 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 This is Merchant Vessel Western now. We are in immediate need of assistance. Over. Boston, this is Western Bell. We have no power and we're in very rough seas. Do you copy? We need help out here. Where the hell is everyone? This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Mayday. 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 This is Merchant Vessel Western Bell. We are in immediate need of assistance. Over. Boston, this is Western Bell. We have no power and we're in very rough seas. Do you copy? Hey! We need help out here. All right, Where so that's that anyone? explains all of them. Um, also, there is a Queen Mirelurk just wandering around, um, which is wild to me. Um, I've also been nearly killed by these things in the past, so I'm I'm a little I'm a little frightened of them. To be completely honest, um, the radio stations don't really help me. Um, they I don't think they're they're leading to quest. I think it's just, a uh, they're leading to, you know, just generic environments or whatever that, uh, may have some- Okay, that thing teleported. That thing never even hit me. Good night, my darling. Woo! Love this gun. Queen Mirelurk meat. Viable blood sample. Oh, good. Because that's part of the, the quest. And there was a few comments asking if that was uh, infinite. It is not. Um, there was a few people that chimed in and said it's not. The technical documents one is. Um, so if we were to attempt to ever end that, we couldn't do it because it doesn't, it doesn't end. Um, so the one automated alarm thing was about some sort of meltdown. And I'm, I have no idea where that is, or, or even really what that is. Um, but there's, uh, there's that one, and then there's the other one, the Greenbrier, which I think might be in the bunker that we're heading to, not sure yet. And then the other one was the, uh, the nautical one, and I, who knows what that is even supposed to mean. There's a little house up here, though. A little hut. Is anyone home? No, but there's a terminal. That's, uh, that's good. Let's check out the situation! Did I say situation? I meant... Uh, corp... corporate. <laughs> I'm just gonna click things until it works, because I have enough... Sweet. I have enough tries to actually do it. Protectron control, spotlight control. Uh, let's make sure that those are off. Anything useful on that terminal? No. Where's the protectron? No idea. Not sure if the person who, uh... ...lived here is still here. Not sure. But what's theirs is ours. 
because they do not seem to be around anymore. I'm confused though. It said protectron. Oh, there is a protectron here. Son of a gun. I guess if you needed help, um, maybe with that Mirelert Queen. Although I don't think, a, I don't think that a uh, uh, protectron would have really helped you much. Then it would have uh, would have been there for you. Um, there's. I do want to mark that building off. I'm gonna run over there quick and uh, just discover it. I'm really curious what it is. If it's a Greenbrier building, then that will explain what that uh, radio signal was. Although I'm pretty sure that the, it went, the radio signal went off when we headed this direction, so I, I don't think that's it. But we might as well check. Might as well at least walk over here and see uh, see what we find. It's actually, a few, there's a group of buildings over here. It's hard to tell what this is going to be. General Atomics Gallery. What the? They're friendly? Uh. Welcome to the General Atomics Gallery. You must be our new supervisor. Sorry, what? You're waiting for your supervisor? Unfortunately, yes. If you happen to meet that laggard, let him know that he is 210 years late for his scheduled shift. I need him to report to the director's office in the statue for immediate assignment. In the meantime, I'm afraid the Galleria is closed to the general public. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. Who's the director? General Atomics patented Director Management System, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously, without the need for human intervention. Hmm. What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow today. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. This is... This is... This is wild. There's, um... There's a few... They're all green. But there's a few guards and things like that. And there was a, a loudspeaker voice. Are, are you... Are you a customer? Now, you listen here. Every single item in this store is exactly where it belongs. Exactly! It's taken me years to get it all in order. You can look if you want. But don't touch anything! Don't. Touch. Anything. Alright. I'm, I'm not planning on it, man. This is crazy. These robots have been, like, running this weird shopping mall-esque place for 210 years, even though no one's here. Can't go in there. Maybe I should have told the guy that I was the director. Please take a number for faster service. Number 12. General Atomics is certainly pleased with themselves for designing the Mr. Handy. 13. Number 13. Someone will be with you shortly. Where do I... But where do I get a number? 22. Now serving oh my god, it's gonna take forever to get to 22. 15. Does anyone have 15? Oh my god, this is actually gonna work if we can be patient. <laughs> if we can wait to 22, I think this guy will serve us. Number 16. 16. This is crazy. There's an entire settlement out here of just robots. I've never even seen it before. 17. Well, that bakery ticket was probably... 
82, yeah, you keep that one. I think I'll go with, uh, 22. That makes me wonder if, if you don't get the 22 one, can... Will he actually count to 82? 19. Maybe. I don't know. Right, either way, we're getting close. Alright, Crisp. 20. 20. Oh my god. Our number's almost here. Come on. Anyone? Come Let's on. Let's try this again. Please wait your turn. I'm waiting my turn! Number 12. Oh my god, no, it's on a loop. No, no, I have, I have the number. I have 22. 13. Please wait until your number is... Oh no! I don't... I'm thinking that's the joke here, is that he never gets to 22. Now serving 14. But part of me is, like, really curious if maybe he secretly does, so now <laughs> I want to wait one more time. Let's try this again. Oh no, he's gonna start at 12. Is he gonna start at 12? He's starting back at 12. Number 12. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. There's also a door here. I'm gonna give it a quick save just because it's, do it's not marked as red for, you know, don't open, but it does say employees only. 13. Hi there. Jeez. Alright, sorry. I'm a little- I'm a little on edge here, to be honest, because I'm worried that, like, everyone's gonna just suddenly start shooting at me. And I don't- I don't know if that's reasonable or not, but... Howdy there. Come on in. Welcome to Slocum's Joe. Can I set you up with a nice hot cup of coffee? On the house! Oh, man. Is that all you've got? I'd offer you some of our world-famous donuts, but I'm afraid they went stale a few weeks ago. Pretty much everything else has, too, come to think of it. So, the coffee's about all that's left. Can I get you some? Yeah, it does look like there's a gas leak. Is there a gas leak in here? Uh, yes. I put in a work order about, oh, 50 years ago. They certainly are taking their time with it, aren't they? <laughs> well, no harm done, I suppose. Now, how about that coffee? Sure. Coming right up. Here at Slocum's Joe, all of our coffee is heated to a perfect 200, 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You might want to stand back. Oh my god, this entire place is gonna- Dance, move! Um, is, um, um, oh god, you're all wiggly. Oh, Jesus, we killed you. Hmm. He went hostile, and, um, I'm not, I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but he, yeah, he went hostile. Uh, we didn't even get our cup of coffee. Well, that's... Very unfortunate. What else is here? Plastic plate. Now, does no one- no one knows about this, right? No one's gonna, like, come up and try to kill us because that happened? That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. Thank you, greeter bot. Just gonna keep, uh, checking around here. Step right up. You there. Yes, you. Don't be shy. Step into the ring. See if you can last a round against the champ. The world's greatest boxing instructor. What? Go on, get in the ring. You there. What is this place? No sales until the match is over. Oh my god. Alright, put him up. Put him up. Error. Unhandled exception in boxing module. Lethal protocols engaged. What? Round one. Fight! Um, dance. I, I think. I think. Uh, dance. Dance. I, I think. <sighs> dance. I was just gonna kind of knock him around a little bit. You don't gotta shoot every. Ah, and this one's wiggly too. Eh, he's not gonna be using this stuff anymore. Uh, Mac. It looks like the champ is out for the count. We'll have you 
back in the ring in no time. Yeah, let's not do that, because my buddy's gonna kill you guys if we do. Sorry, no sales. The gallery is closed. Aw, but I'm the champ! Or at least I right, champ. killed the champ. My god. Dude, that was crazy. As soon as it was like the match has started and he went red, Dance was like, kill him as fast as possible. It was nuts. Also, there's a little boxing glove, which is funny. That's it. That's it. God, that's kind of sad. The director has sanctioned the use of lethal force against looters. Yeah, I'm not a looter, so I should be good. Back alley bowling? <laughs> this guy's not talking, which is a shame. I have- I still have bad flashbacks from the Mr. Gutsy from, like, really early on in the Let's Play that we ran into. That one freaks me out. Anyway, um, that's actually gonna be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we'll, uh, finish exploring the Galleria. It looks like there's a few other buildings we could see. This place is really cool, kind of sad. But really, really cool, and I'm sure that there's something to do here that we just haven't figured out yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4.